the laboratory. So if you are setting up a lab and you've not really taken into consideration the flow of the laboratory or the flow of the clinic, that's something that's going to hamper your efficiency later on. So defining workflow and also defining the patient flow is very important. So let's give you an example. If your patient is coming in, who's going to be the first point of contact? After that first point of contact, where does the patient go? How much time will the patient take from going from point A to point B? How much time is the patient going to spend in the consultation room? How much time is the patient going to spend in the laboratory or um, like any of the diagnostic procedures, etc. So these are all set standards that need to be defined, set policies that need to be defined for your laboratory. And if you can define these policies right at the start, when you're constructing your uh, clinic, that is where you will be able to design a very efficient laboratory because you'll be able to think of all the time points, you'll be able to think of all the distances between point A, point B, you'll be able to think of the flow of the patient from point A to point B and that will definitely help you in designing a very uh, good quality, high standard laboratory.